Hello folks, Dave Schulke here with the Twin Home Experts, here to take a moment and give you the inside of underground drain pipes when it comes to a slab foundation. And what does it cost to replace those? So let's get right to it. small, typical five by eight bathroom. Customer was complaining about slow drains constantly, hiring multiple plumbers coming out and trying to snake. It just wasn't working. So we got down to the bottom of it by running a colored camera from the roof vent, which came down this vent pipe right here. And this is what we found. Camera stopped at this point right here. And you can see that this was a 45 made of cast iron pipe and completely collapsed along with massive root compaction. If you come a little bit closer here, you'll be able to see the amount of debris that's inside of this pipe here. So one of the things to consider is that typically you don't have much access when it comes to cabling. That's why we had to go up on the roof. But even a cable or, or hydro jetter, which is really effective in cleaning and descaling a galvanized or cast iron, when it comes to this type of compaction, you're gonna have to unfortunately dig up the slab and do a replacement. Um, yes, you're probably wondering, what about trenchless technology? Well, trenchless is only good if the lines are completely open and you have an access point. In this particular situation with multiple uh, drain pipes and fittings underneath the slab, it's impossible to get the trenchless epoxy liner through this web. It's gonna be a lot less expensive just to do an excavation. So what we're gonna do is replace the drainage system in this bathroom with ABS pipe. This is a plastic pipe and if you install it properly, meaning the right fittings, have it sloped, make sure that the soil gets compacted so you don't have any future bellies in the pipe. And also, when you get this completely excavated and open, you might want to consider installing a clean out. What is a clean out? A clean out is simply an accessible pipe typically going to the outside. So if you do ever have any type of maintenance or you want to, uh, if you've got a clog and you want to unclog a pipe, you've got that accessibility to run the gear through. So in this particular situation, what we're going to do is we're going to install a clean out to this exterior wall right here. And I'll show you what that looks like. In here a we are at the toilet. Now toilets always require a three or a four inch drain pipe. Because this bathroom has no clean out, what we're gonna do is we've opened up the wall here. Underground, we're gonna put in a Y connection and we're gonna run a clean out and stub it to the outside utilizing this drywall opening right here. So our pipe will come right up and we'll stub a clean out to the outside. That way in the future, again, from the outside, we're able to maintain this line right here. All right, folks, so you're probably wondering, what does something like this cost? Well, as you can see, the amount of work that it takes to be able to execute a job like this, we had to remove the vanity, we had to remove the floor, the toilet, we had to put a zipper door containment in to control the dust, we had to penetrate the concrete slab and dig down several feet we had to cut all the pipe out, haul it away, and then there is the inspection process. So we've got to wait for a city inspector to come out. That requires us filling up the new waste system to confirm that there's no leaks. And then when it gets signed off, we now have to do a concrete patch. So something like this, again, depending on where you live, but here in Los Angeles and the Phoenix, Arizona, you're gonna be in the range of anywhere from about 4,000 all the way to about 15,000. Again, I know that's a big spread, 
but I would plan on budgeting right around $8,000. Well, back to work. Hopefully this gave you some insight on your slab drain replacement. And as always, thanks for watching. Please give us your feedback and hit that subscribe button, okay?